Russia's war on Ukraine, Ukraine claiming what would be a major advance in the counteroffensive east of Kharkiv. This is video being released this morning that shows Ukrainian troops on the border with Russia. Ukraine's military is not saying exactly where they are, and there's no independent confirmation of the video yet. But recent analyses from the British Defense Ministry and from the Pentagon confirm that Ukrainian forces have been pushing Russian forces back toward the border. In fact, Effectively driving Russian artillery right out of range of Kharkiv. Now, Kharkiv, Russian forces appear to be abandoning an attempt to capture and control that city. It is the second largest in Ukraine and one of the hardest hit. Our CBC News team is there now. And this morning, Briar Stewart takes us inside a city that had been under an unrelenting Russian bombardment going back to the earliest hours of this war. I'm in the center of Kharkiv, in an area that came under attack in the very first days of the invasion. This is the city hall building. It was hit by a number of Grad rockets, and you can just see the, the devastation and wreckage. You can see the bookshelves there, remnants of people's offices. Several people were killed here, including children. Now, in terms of the city itself, uh, a lot of the recent attacks and the shelling has taken place in the northeast in a neighborhood called Sotivka. And also you have all of these rural villages around the city of Kharkiv, many of which came under Russian occupation. And in recent weeks, Ukraine has been able to push back from the city of Kharkiv, retake control of some of these villages and even push Russian troops towards the border. So there is kind of a sense that things are moving in the right direction for Ukraine here, but that doesn't mean that the danger has subsided. In fact, every day, you know, you still hear shelling. We were here this morning. The air raid siren went off. And uh, people are not returning to this city en masse here yet because there is a, a still a real danger. And in fact, uh, you know, Ukrainian soldiers who are stationed here say they do feel good about how things are going here. It is a little bit safer. But they say that they're not kind of discounting the fact that Russia could decide to mobilize troops again and launch another offensive against Kharkiv, which is Ukraine's second largest city. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Kharkiv.